Hey, this is Caio. And this is Mike. From EssentialDeveloper.com Tomato number 18. 18. Last time we finished the results presenter, but we need to have a test for more than one item. One thing we are not testing when you test only one item is order. And right. order matters. Otherwise, the result page is going to be unpredictable. So when you map a dictionary, you lost the order because dictionaries doesn't guarantee order. So I think we should start with another test here. With two questions, maps order at answers. Let's say Q2 is A4. Let's add here the user answer for Q2 and the answer the user gave is A4. Now we have Q2 as the first one, but that's not the order I want. So order questions is an array because the array is going to give us the order and it should be Q1 and Q2. And we need to give these to the result. It should be questions, order questions, answers, and the score. Then I want to guarantee that I have two, and this should be the first one, and I should have a less one as well. And this should be Q2, and the answer should be, let's use A2 so we don't confuse this. Let's see. Oh, that's not the result, I'm sorry. The presenter needs yep. a result, questions, and correct answers. That's it. Okay, yeah, we don't want to change the result. The result lives in the engine, mm -hmm. in the core module. Okay. Results presenter now needs question. Okay. And this is going to break everything because we didn't refactor. <laughs> we can just <laughs> deal with it. Deal with it, yeah. Okay. I can add here my questions. Okay. Now we're going to break everything. So I'm going to comment this out and I want to make everything work again. We need to add questions here and the questions. In this case, it's just an array of Q1. That's the order. And the same in here, but in here it's a single. It's a multiple here. Here it is single again. And in here it is empty. Here we have two questions. So it should be single and a multiple. This is Q2. And we need a single one. And it should be Q1, so they match. And the setup is getting ugly. You see, when you use dictionaries and sets, that's what happens. Okay, so everything is good again. And we're going to do some refactoring. But let's finish this first. That's what I need now, right? Presentable answers with two questions, maps ordered answer. And I want to see a failing test. And they fail, because it's not guaranteeing the order I want. Mm -hmm. So now I can just change this to use our new questions. Yeah. So now to map this array of questions. So we get only the question mm -hmm. and we need to get the user, user answer. answer from the result dot answers answer. of question. That's it. So we get the answers from the result. We get the correct answer from the dictionary. Correct answer. That's it. I should pass now. Beautiful. We have order. Fantastic. Fantastic. And there go our colors. There go our colors. Xcode doesn't like it, but that's fine. Refactoring? It's time. We should have, whoa, colors are back. We should have a question one. So we don't need to recreate it all the time. Something like that. And here I can have question one. And then I can have question two. Like this. I think they can live in the class scope as properties also. Uh huh. You mean here? Yeah. And if we're a little more explicit, instead of question one, maybe question single one, question multiple one, they can be reused in all tests. So here, actually, we can make this multiple. So we can say single question, single answer question, and multiple answer. Yeah. Question. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. We can change this here and here, and here and here. And this is getting a bit long. Should we say order it? Yeah, questions. 
like this. Yep. So it's better. Here, I think it's fine. It's the empty case. So here it's single answer. Single answer here. This should be a multiple answer. Ah, but we need to change the assertion here. This should be Q2, because that's what we have in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and here should be multiple answer. And again, this should be Q2 now. That's a single answer question and a multiple. Answer question and let's mix them here. Multiple answer question and single answer question. Multiple answer question and this should be the single answer question. So the multiple answer should be A1, A4. So we should invert this now. Single answer is A2. I'm just inverting it. That's what we want. Single answer question A2. Multiple answer question A1, A4. Let's run. Huh. Oops. It fails because I have the wrong order here. That's what I want. The single answer is Q1, the multiple answer is Q2. We got it wrong. Yes. Cool. Just make sure I'm going to change the, the order again and make sure that everything is fine. And it's all good. Okay. So maybe I think we have some tests that are obsolete now. The right multiple answer is tested here. Mm -hmm. The right single also. The right single answer is also tested there. Cool. We have order in the results presenter. I think we are done here. Oh, we said we should consider if it's going to be a struct or a class. I think there's no reason to be a class right now. Yeah. All we do is... Just data. Yeah. All right. Let's carry on. Okay, the result presenter is ready, so we can go back to the factory now. Mm -hmm. That's where we stopped before. The iOS view controller factory. Let's have a look at the tests for the factory so far. So we are testing allows multiple selection, and we should probably move this to the view controller setup. I don't want to force the view to load. Okay. I don't think we have to do this right now. And another thing is that we're not testing the selection callback in here. And we also not giving it a title. And the title we want here is the question number one, question number two, the index for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, let's add a test. Single answer creates controller with title. So make question controller dot title should be question number one because it has only one question. Yes. And it should fail. Yeah. And it does. Yeah. Get the controller and return controller and we can just give it a title he wants question number one i don't want the factory formatting this maybe should have a presenter yeah it should be a responsibility outside the factory yeah so the test passes but that's not what we want let's create a question presenter i don't want factories formatting stuff definitely not question presenter test Let's create a first test. And what I expect here is title, right? Just title for now. So let's assert equal SCT dot tile should be, let's say, question number one. That's it. Let's say for first question. Yep. And let's create our SCT will be the question presenter. And we need to give it questions, order it. Yep. So we need to give it questions with a question say question one and let's give it a question right we give the questions and the question so the current question and then all the questions so it can find the index yes cool mm -hmm. so let's create a question question one should be question dot single answer it doesn't matter so we need to import the quiz app we need to import it okay so we can create this presenter now it should be a struct as well, right? Following yeah. the same as the other one. It needs to have questions. That's an array of question string. And it should have question. There is a question type string. 
it could just even be a function, right? We're just following the convention we used for the results presenter. It could be just a free function that lives in this module. Yeah. The yeah. presenter module. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Now we can finally have our title. There's a computed var. And let's return empty for now. And it should fail. So let's return question number one. Make the test pass. Same process again and again. And it does. I love it. So let's say title for second question. Let's say formats title or index. So if I have question one and question two, and this is a multiple answer, just to guarantee that yeah. there's no problems in there. It doesn't matter. So if I start with question two, this should be two. And now I cannot hard code anymore because that's the second test. We need to make it real. I think that's a good example for people that are starting now to practice test driven development. Yeah, very, very simple. So now we can get the questions, the index of question. Plus one. Plus one, because the first one is zero. And we need to bang this because it's optional. Right. And we have to think about that. Yeah. Do we want it to crash? We could return an optional here. I think that's that's better, right? Just return an optional. And I mean, if you don't have a question, you don't have a title. Okay. And let's set a test for that. An existing question is new. We could return empty string and not have a nullable here. Yeah. Yeah. I prefer it. Is empty. So we have question one and two, but I want question three, A3. And if I pass A3, that is not part of the questions, mm -hmm. they should be empty. And of course it crashes, that's what we want. So now we can get index, let index, we return this, else we return empty. Here we can just have index plus one. I'm just curious, why did you decide to use if there and not guard? Just a small scope. What do you prefer? For its cases, I usually do guard. So if we change it to a guard, now we have to invert this. Yeah, you have to invert the, the logic. That's... So the logic now is that this goes here, and else comes here. And as you said, you like it in one line, right? Yes. So that's it. That's our guard. I think it looks better. Okay, we have our question presenter now. Do you want to add a case for an empty array also? It is covered there for, with the third one, but just to be descriptive in the tests. Okay, so maybe you can just do this here. You can either have a one-liner, yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And refactoring, Sarah, quickly. Probably question one and question two could be outside. I think that's fine here, and that's fine here. You can have these both the same. I think that's enough on this test. Yeah. Copy and paste problem. <laughs> okay. Factory for my test. I want to make sure that the title is equal to let's create a presenter. And that's a question presenter. And it needs questions. And this is an array of question. And question, question. Whoops. So we can just extract this to a variable. And now I want to make sure that my, well, my title is equal to presenter title. So the test passes here, but it's hard coded. And that's a problem. We need to see a failing test here. So we need to give the order here. We need to give questions. There is an array of questions and we need to give options so we're gonna have this here yeah like that and we need to capture these questions equals questions in our make sut we need to get those questions so let's do some refactoring right now I'm gonna give an empty questions let me compile this okay we need some refactoring here and let's move this and let's call it let single answer question as we did before. Yeah. And let's change this everywhere. Then we can have the multiple one. And let's do the multiple. Let's change this here and here and here. Okay, let me run this test. 
Cool, still passes. So now I can create my options here. And I'm going to put this order. This is my setup now. I have my questions ordered. So that works. And for multiple answer, creates controller with title. And well, this should be single and multiple questions. And the same in here to match our setup. Let's run this. All right. Tomato's done. Set of questions, this should be single. And in here, it should be multiple. And it fails. Great. OK. So here we have the controller, and the tile should be, well, we can make this. And this is going to make it pass. But that's cheating. Indeed. And we don't want to cheat. That's why I want to combine these two. So I think we need a private fun question view controller. And it returns a question view controller. And the question here is just a string. It's unwrapped. So here's just question. So now we can have a title here. And return controller. So we can use this method now instead. All right? Mm hmm. So here should be just return. Problem is that it needs the four. Oh, true. Uh, it doesn't read well. So maybe it should be question instead of four. So that's it. Let's run this and the test should still fail. Okay. Now we need the presenter. Presenter. Presenter is a question. Presenter. That starts with questions. And a question. Yeah. So we need a question. So here should be for question, question, string, and we pass the value like that. So here should be value. And here should be for question, value, value. Ugh. It's time to finish this tomato. Yeah. Let's make the test pass. Yes. So now we need to use the presenter. Cool. Next episode, I think we should move this to the view controller. Okay, let's finish here. Mm -hmm.